To understand more about the different varieties of lilies that can be grown in the UK, I'm here at Tatton Park Flower Show to meet Richard Hyde. Apparently, there is nothing that Richard does not know about British lily growing. Richard, you're like the Dalai Lama of lily growing. Ex explain to me what I'm seeing here, because I'm seeing a different height and a color differentiation, but are there all these like genetically distinct groups? Explain what's going on here. All genetically distinct, yes. Got it Asiatic to this side, perfect alkaline soil, also unscented. Okay. So if you, if you don't like the perfume, Asiatics. And what's going on over here? These are acid lovers, these are the Orientals. So you've got a group called Orientals and a group called Asiatics. Yes. And they're totally different. Totally different. Highly scented one type. Highly scented and all whites and pinks. No, you don't get the bright colours of the Asiatics. All whites and pinks. And demanding of acid soil. So you yes, couldn't grow both together? No. So in pots though? In and you could sink them into the ground full of acidic yep. compost, yep. even if you have an alkaline soil? Perfect, yeah. So all of these, no matter yes. which one, I mean, there may be a soil variation, yeah. but you could grow these in the UK Any, outdoors. Anyone, anyone, yes. Like, what, outdoors all year, all even year. in like a minus 20 winter? Yep. It is no pretty problems. spectacular. There's yeah, no, nothing more exotic that I can think of that would survive that. So whether you want the vibrant colors of the Asiatics or the incredible scent of the Orientals, just as long as you have the right soil pH, or frankly, the right compost in a pot, anyone can grow them at home. Explain to me why more people aren't growing lilies. Because to me, it fulfills all the criteria. Low maintenance, high impact, hardy, survives well in the UK. What's not to like? Cheap, fast growing? Many people don't grow them because they don't know how to grow them. Simple as that. They think, they're, as you say, they're hardy. Many people think you've got to put them inside in winter. Yeah. Totally wrong. Leave them outside. Richard's flowers are really quite a spectacle. But I wonder if other exhibitors are using lilies outside the floral marquees in their displays. It's like pretty much everything except the lily. No lilies in this one either. There's basically every type of plant group you could possibly get from chrysanthemums that are so out of fashion to bonsai. And no lilies. Like this, like this is the only lily plant that I've seen here. But I'm hoping to convert some of these exhibitors to the wonders of lilies by handing out bulbs they can grow at home. So you're a man who knows the stuff. Do you grow lilies? No. What's wrong with you? Why are you not growing lilies? What you're missing is some lilies. <laughs> there you go, sir. It's giant white flowers with like a cream backing to them. Things come and they go in the fashion of plant world. Oh, that's so un There are so many different types. If, if lilies were like roses, yeah, where no, they're no, generally no. kind of similar, yeah. I could see it. But lilies are so different. You put in the least amount and you get the most out of them. I'll take Are word you convinced? For it. Oh, <laughs> super easy. You could get flowers within 12 weeks of planting. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. Thanks very much. Nice yeah, you're welcome. So here's your bag. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to put them in the garden. Ah, oh, so we've converted you. <laughs> Is that all it took? A free pack of lilies. Good luck with them. Thank you.